Well, here's Hyperland. Here we are. We're still on it. We're still making use of it. And, um, I don't know. I like to make these videos where I tell you how things have been going. Uh, I think I've recorded this thing about probably four times now. I accidentally slipped uh, one of them in a clip uh, the other day. Yeah. Well, yesterday when I was, I was screwed up editing. But it feels like I'm floating here. You know? Waiting for Gnome 49. Waiting for Gnome 50 type thing. When HDR is going to be complete and final and everything's going to be in box with a bow ready to go. That's what I'm waiting for. And this is going to do till then. I mean, I still got Gnome installed. I'm still using it from time to time. But as long as this sits pretty and doesn't break, I don't really have any issues with it. And I kind of like the whole dynamic dock thing. It looks pretty cool. I did try give it a go and rewrite the thing. The ground up to be more like dash dock, but it proved to be a little more difficult. Uh... Than imagined it's unfortunate but i do like the fact that we have this right here this is nice seeing what uh song is playing i enjoy that uh, the blur having a thing there so i can just access all my apps pretty easy and now i can move windows by just dragging with the middle mouse button because i don't want to use that to copy and paste because that's just it just seems silly it always has i'm going to be completely honest with you i still don't know how to make it look like this again so I've backed up all my files on my Discord, which is nice, I guess. Helps people out, maybe. I don't know. I'll figure out a way to get everything backed up permanently. That way I can just put it on a GitHub somewhere and hope for the best. But it's been smooth. The HDR works better than GNOME and Plasma put together, which is nice. Uh, turning that on and off is pretty simple as well. Yeah. I am definitely looking for a better start menu alternative than Rofi because this thing just does not like you press the button and you press it again it stays open instead of closing i'd like that I, I know i could probably map it to you know the start key and uh i might do that but i don't really want to because there's already something there that works just as well but this this is not like a start menu this just shows you workspaces and i want to keep this here just in case i need to do anything you know because like oh hey that's now over there or hey that's down there i like doing that that's pretty cool that's a really easy way to deal with workspaces. So an alternative start menu um, would be interesting. Like, uh, can you list all start menu apps for Hyperland? Because I want to take a look at a couple and see if we can find something that works. What the hell is Wofi? Is it one of those stupid ones? Uh, okay. Where is it? See, that is not what I want. One second. Let me show you. See that? That's just goofy looking. That's not something I want. That doesn't look good at all. Something modern and fancy. Do do. Uh huh. You launcher. Okay. We're going to take a look at a couple today and see if I can find something real quick. Ah, you launcher is literally just a launcher. It's not actually anything. You have to do typing and stuff. But it's got. Hey, one second. It's got themes at least. Got like color themes i mean that's as basic as it gets it's not modern at all it's got extensions what do the extensions do oh that makes that look pretty yeah see why well, this may look pretty interesting uh it's definitely not modern i would say this is the complete opposite of modern this is like back in those old days where uh we'd have to use a launcher for everything it's not good uh there's tofi tofi github a tiny dynamic menu yeah no okay i'm gonna show you this one too then look at that definitely no uh and again there's rofi anything more let's see if there's anything else hi Erland. hey come on find me something yeah no it looks like we're screwed in terms of what we could use so i don't know maybe i'll try to um figure out a way to rebuild rofi to look a little more like i want it to look because this is honestly the best so far that i've seen i just needed to dynamically adapt to my wallpaper and start up just show up over here i thought i deleted that i don't even know why that's here but it would be just it would be interesting if i could turn this into a menu that shows all applications i think that would be cool so yeah um i'm adapting to hyperland everything seems to be working fine i mean this is probably the easiest layout and look in hyperland you can probably get mine's just gnomified i've gnomed hyperland 
I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye, everybody. I need a nap. I'm old. Well, I ended up making my own menu instead. But I'm still old, and I did take that nap. Just wanted to let you know that if you want something done enough, it's best in this world, especially when it comes to Hyperlin, to do it yourself.